Hi everyone, how is it going? So hope you guys all had a fantastic Thanksgiving and got something cool on Black Friday. So uh, today we are going to do yoga and it's going, to, uh, since we talked about flexibility training and yoga last Wednesday, so it's kind of something we decided to share with you guys. And so I uh, hope you guys are ready. You just need a mat and you can even, you don't even need a shoe. So you can just be barefooted if you want. So are you guys ready to relax, meditate and be, uh, and also be flexible? And just recommend you do some uh, warm up, some dynamic warm up before we start this workout. So let's get ready. Standing in mountain pose, have your two feet parallel to each other and stretch your fingers, looking straight ahead of you and breathing and breathe out. And really dig your, leg, your feet into the ground. Now, sweep forward and go into a forward fold position. Try to uh, keep your legs straight, but if it's too hard, you can slightly bend your knees. And again, breathe in and breathe out. And also, again, dig your feet into the ground, really feeling the drive. Sweep back forward, and let's get, we're gonna get into a crescent moon on one side. Bend as much as you can. Keep breathing, keep focusing on inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, go as long as you can and keep breathing. Couple more seconds. Now we're going to transition into a star pose. Have your feet pointing to the corners of the, to the two corners and spread your fingers, spread both also your toes and dig into the ground and lengthen your limbs and just stretch looking ahead. And now we're going to get into a warrior two position. In warrior two position, you're going to have you're going to look to your right side and keep breathing. From there, we're going to transition into a triangle. With triangle, you need to look up to the hand that is lifted. Again, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, focusing on the breathing. Now let's go back to star pose and transition to warrior two pose on the other side. Really feeling the stretch, dig your feet into the ground, spread out your fingers, stretch your limbs. Couple more breathing. Now we're going to transition into a triangle pose on that side. Again, look up onto the arms that's lifted. Focus on breathing. Now we can go back to star pose. Then we're gonna get on the floor. Start with a bound angle pose or it's also called a butterfly pose. Couple more, couple breathing. Now we're going to slowly move our hand forward and breathing at the same time and go as far as you can within your flexibility. It should be a little bit challenging, but should not hurt too much. Keep breathing. Now slowly moving back. Now we're gonna go to seated head to knee on the right side first. Straighten the right leg and use the left leg, touch the right leg and touch your toe if you can. And then try as hard as you can to have your head touch the knee and breathing. Just go as much 
as you can without putting too much stress on your body. It should be challenging but not painful. Just go keep breathing. Now let's do the same seated head to knee pose on the left leg. Again, it should feel comfortable, shouldn't hurt. Focus on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to get into a staff pose. So legs are straight, flex your feet and have your arms behind you and looking up and lift up your torso and breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to do a seated forward bend. Again, touch your toe if you can and just go as low as you can. And again, breathe. Focusing on that inhale and exhale. Feeling the stretch of your lean, stretch of your torso. Keep breathing. With now we can transition into a pigeon, a pigeon hole position. And if it's too hard, then you can the, the straight leg can be can be slightly bent and looking up into the ceiling and breathe. Couple more breathing. Now we're going to transition to pigeon on the other leg. Same thing, if it's too challenging, adjust the leg, slightly bent. One leg may be more flexible than the other, it's totally normal. So again, just looking up and breathe. Feeling the stretch of your limbs, stretch of your torso. Now we're going to transition into a tabletop position. From there, we're going to do cat and cow. So this is the cat. And when you do cat, you're supposed to be going to do inhale. And when you do a cow, you're looking up and you're going to do exhale. Inhale, exhale. This should really stretch your low back. Focusing on the breathing. Dig your limbs, digging your feet and your hand into the ground and really feeling the stretching of your torso and your limbs and your breathing. Keep going. Now we're gonna transition into a downward dog. With downward dog, again, you wanna dig your feet into the ground, dig your hand into the ground and really feeling the stretch of your lower back, your your head should be parallel to the two arms. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna transition into a plank and quickly we're gonna transition into a cobra or up, uh, you can do up dog pose if you can. But we're gonna do cobra. Just support your body with your arms. You can slightly bend your arms if you want. Looking up into the ceiling, focusing on breathing. Now we're gonna go into the child pose. Stretch your arms as far as you can. Focusing on stretch your, your fingers and just breathe. Keep breathing. Couple more. Now we're gonna get to a corpse pose. Just lie on the floor and spread out your arms, spread out your fingers, your toes, and dig your lower back into the ground. And just close your eyes and just focusing on your breath. Nothing matters, just your breathing. You inhale and exhale. And just really focusing on that and relax your body. Let's keep going. Couple more breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really relax. Inhale. So now we're going to go into an easy pose, cross your legs and have your hands on your knees and just close your eyes. Keep doing inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're in prayer position, couple more breathing. 
inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Namaste. Hope you guys enjoy this yoga workout and hope you all feel relaxed and rejuvenated. So I highly recommend perform a flexibility training uh, if you have time, um, 10 minutes every day. But if not, you should perform two to three times per week to really uh, flex your muscle and also meditate and relax. So if you like this video, please click the like button, share with someone you know that might be interested, subscribe for more videos like this to help this channel grow. And if you come back next week, we're gonna have another fun workout waiting for you guys, don't forget. And if you come back this Wednesday, we have another talk video related, about, related to health and fitness. So stay tuned and hope you guys all have a great week and happy holiday. And so um, see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. And we go and just do it as many rounds as we can in that five minutes. A more flexible muscle has a greater strength potential.